Hi everyone! Welcome to Tanya and Tiana English. I'm Tiana and today I have a story for you using English phrasal verbs that native speakers use every day. They're super common and you may have noticed while you're practicing your English that native speakers use phrasal verbs a lot. So we better practice them. Let's get started. So today I'm going to tell you about my day, a little bit of a story, and I'm going to incorporate a bunch of phrasal verbs. And so first we'll go through the whole conversation and see if you can understand what I'm talking about in context. Then afterwards, we'll go through step by step and I'll explain to you what those meant. All right, so I'll start my story with, I got up at around 8 a.m. this morning. I had a couple students in the morning, but I didn't have much to do until then, so I just hung around the house. Then, after my students, I packed up all my stuff for class and I headed out around 11 a.m. On my way to class, I stopped for some delicious coffee and I ended up getting to class um, pretty early. I actually accidentally walked in on the wrong class it was a little bit embarrassing, but when I finally found the right room, there were about four, four or five people there. When our professor got there, we were able to start class and then a few people showed up late. In today's class, we had a workshop, so we talked about some of the stories that we were all writing. Um, and I especially wanted to speak up and be able to point out some of the things that I loved about their stories. Then when I got out of class, I got on the bus and came home. So that was my day for today. Um, and I used a lot of phrasal verbs in there. So let's talk about them. Ah, there was one. <laughs> okay, so the first one I used was to get up. I got up at 8 a.m. Now this just means to wake up when you wake up in the morning and you start your day. Then I said I hung around the house. Now to hang around might not seem like a phrasal verb we use very often, but a similar phrasal verb to hang out I use all the time. <laughs> um, the, then the, really there's only a slight difference. If I say I'm hanging around, it means maybe I'm just, I'm just relaxing around the house. I'm, I'm reading or watching a show, I'm not really doing much. Um, but if I say I hanging, I'm hanging out, then it means that I'm with other people. So maybe I'm hanging out with my sister or I'm hanging out with my friends um, and we're talking or we're not really doing much. It's kind of similar to hang around. Um, we're not really like, we're not going out. We're not like, um, like going hiking or, or doing a big event or something. We're just at home or maybe like at a coffee shop talking, maybe watching a movie, something kind of relaxed. And I use hanging out all the time. <laughs> so the next phrasal verb I used was to pack up. I packed up my things and then I went to school. So basically this just means I got all my stuff together. I collected my books, my pencils, I made sure I had my phone and my keys and all that good stuff um, before I left the apartment. Which brings us to our next phrasal verb, which was to head out. And I think this phrasal verb is pretty common. We say I, I headed out or a lot of times when people are at an event, maybe a party, they'll say, all right, well, it's, it's time for me to head out, which means I need to go. <laughs> All right, then I said on my way, so while I was walking to school, I stopped for some coffee. 
I went in to the coffee shop and I bought coffee. Meaning I just, I was walking and then I, I stopped for a minute so that I could get the coffee. You could also say something like, I stopped for gas on the road trip. Meaning we, we pulled over to the side of the road and then we got gas before we started driving again. Then I got to class and this phrasal verb means that I arrived. Very common. Um, I got to class. There are a bunch of phrasal verbs with the verb to get. So if you'd like to learn more about those phrasal verbs, let us know in the comments below. There are also two more coming in this video. Okay, so then I said I walked in on another class. Oops. I went into the wrong classroom um, and I interrupted them. So to walk in on someone or something is to interrupt them. You're probably literally walking, but not necessarily. Um, if I walk in on someone, it means that I, I interrupted them and it was kind of a mistake. The next phrasal verb I used was to show up. So I said that people showed up late. This is similar to got to, I got to class or I showed up at class. I could say those, both of those um, because they both really mean arrived. Um, those people arrived late. But another use of to show up could mean like supporting someone or really just being there for them. So for example, I could say, wow, I was having a tough time, but my sister really showed up for me. Meaning she was really supporting me. She was there for me. The next phrasal verb was to talk about. Uh, and we use this phrasal verb all the time. It basically means to just have a conversation about a certain topic. We talked about the stories that we were writing in class. Um, today, we're talking about phrasal verbs and what I did today. Um, I'd love to know what you did today. See if you can use some of these phrasal verbs as well and put them in the comments below. The next phrasal verb I said was to speak up. I spoke up in class because I wanted to say things in class. Uh, it's actually really important in universities in America that you speak up, that you uh, say what you think in class. You could also use speak up to say like, it's something more like, um, like with confidence, something that's maybe a secret or maybe that's uncomfortable to say, but you need to say it anyway. You need to speak up. Come on, speak up. So <laughs> uh, that's another way we use that phrasal verb. Then I said, I wanted to point out some things that I liked about their stories. If I point out something, it means that I'm calling attention to it or I'm, I'm showing you what it was. Um, so if I say I'm pointing out the things in their stories that I liked, I'm just telling them what I liked about their stories. Um, if I point out someone's hat, then it means I might actually point at it, but I might just say, oh wow, they have a really cool hat. Um, I'm drawing attention to it. Now we have our two phrasal verbs with to get, which were got out and got on. So when I say got out, I got out of class, that just means that we were, we were let out. Class finished and we could leave. Then when I say got on, I got on the bus, it means I boarded the bus, um, which is interesting because with a bus, we say I got on the bus, but with a car, we would say I got in the car. All right, there's also a kind of an idiom that we use uh, to get on board. Um, and that's kind of like I got on the bus, um, but really it means like, okay, I'm ready and I'm, I'm, like following your plan. That's what we that's what we mean when we say, "All right, I'm getting on board." 
Okay, so let's practice our English. See if you can use some of these phrasal verbs in a sentence and put it in the comments below. Which one was your favorite or were there any that were maybe a little confusing? Um, do you have other phrasal verbs that you'd like us to talk about? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little bell so you don't miss any more Tanya and Tiana English. We post new English lessons every Saturday and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.